the direct ignition which will this is a coil pack fan of the Saabs, um, Saab 95, Saab 9000s I believe and a few others um, some of them are red on the later models such as mine which is Saab 95 and they have the black steel could be aluminium but it acts as a heat dispersant to release heat they get awfully hot and eventually fail and you'll start getting crack marks here and there such as this one now this is my one that came off recently it's less than four years old but it just started having issues i thought it was a crank position sensor i replaced the crank position sensor and i still suffered so it meant me buying a new one i was looking for original replacement so i thought there's loads in the market let me try what's about and i found one in poland yes i should have stuck to oem uh, this is an oem made by sem ml sweden part number 5559955 this was produced in 2016 um uh, but yeah so um i was at a point where i needed a new one don't want to buy a brand new one so I thought let me try some OEM models, such as one made by SKV. Um, packaging is a bit poor. Well, it came from Poland, and as we no longer part of Brexit, I have to pay a tax on it. Uh, but nonetheless, it was still a lot cheaper than the original one. But this one was a shy of £150, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, let's have a look. Well, genuinely, the first time I'm opening up. That's all that's in there. Um, so as you can see, it's um, very similar. The part number on this one is called um, S, sorry, 03 SKV 141. But it looks identical, but it just doesn't have that same. It's a lot lighter. Um, there's some green gels in there. It's plastic. Yeah, so quick close up of this. So if you can see there's um all these funny green I think they're like electro grease of some sort. I'm sure they are. Can you see that? That's the marking. But the camera's losing focus, or rather my phone. It does have it does look good. However, Oh, don't do that again, Cam. So annoying when it does that. Whoops. And that's the original. So if you can see where it's um the stamp code, so you know it's a genuine item. And as you can tell on the copy part, there's none of that. At all. They always fail here, they always crack. There's like a resistor somewhere there, and I reckon it just gets so hot they just fail. Now that I turned it the other way around. I've got some light in, you might be able to see it better. But it's just quite sad I'm doing this. I'm just doing it purely for people who need to buy a replacement, aren't too sure. And SKV seems like a good brand. I spoke to the distributor and supplier and they claim they never get any issues. And if they do, they've got a two year no quibble warranty and they'll happily return it, accept it back. But I'm not too fast. If I get two years out of it, I see it's £150 well spent. I mean, the issues I was um, suffering that I should have stated earlier on was, let me turn it around. The issues that we came across, the car used to idle a bit erratic. 
and it had like this um, hesitancy, it'll hesitate at 1250, 1400 RPM and then it'll be fine. And uh, the other thing was it started to just skip a beat and it would just cut out. And as soon as that happened, I was with my wife and I thought, no, I'm just going to get a replacement. And I kind of read into what's about, and this was the best brand out there. Um, that's UK. I know in America there's loads more options, but in the UK, um, this was the only brand that was made in Europe and not China. I didn't want to buy anything from China. No disrespect, China. It's a matter of putting it on and see how it goes. I'll, I'll give feedback and hopefully um, this weird sounding thing. Yeah. Makes sense. You're just is it metal? Or what? That's alloy, I think. I need a magnet. God knows. I'm gonna fit it on soon. But before I get this done, I wanna compression test my cylinder head. Bottom end, rather. Uh, get the original Saab spark plugs in there and give it a go and see how it goes. Um, but otherwise, I'm looking forward to this. Let's see how we go. Got the original Saab spark plugs, um, which are the NGK PFR6H10. I want to put these on and see how they go. Yep, all new, legit spark plugs this is the last fourth one well let's zoom in here we go ngk yes place that in gently and tighten this bad boy up don't want to cross thread it now all right let's see how it goes okay now we've got this four spark plugs in all tight as it could be and now we're putting the new skv unit in and already it's i don't know if you can see it properly but oh god that's in that's in that's in oh is it or is it not hmm looks a bit shiny Right, let's connect everything up and take it from there. Oh, hold on. Let's put that out again. Oh, sugar, what have I done? Whoopsie. It's in. It doesn't look too bad. So, um, hopefully, my battery's got enough juice. Let's give it a try. I'm not entirely happy. What's happened is it drives the same in a sense where I don't feel anything different it's still the revs still drop still a bit lumpy and still has a stutter around 1250 mark so um, there must be another gremlin somewhere and I just can't work it out and it's bugging me, bugging me loads. I'm having driven the car in five weeks due to the two COVID isolation lockdowns. And then I just didn't need to drive for that week. Um, it doesn't seem as pokey. So I don't know what, the, what that's all about. Um, I'm looking at all the vitals. Use your seatbelt. Oh. I've got stuff in the passenger seat, picked up the weight. Even when I floor it lower down, it still kind of bogs down. As the engine's heating up, it's stabilizing. But it's just a very weird sensation where it hasn't shut down once, which is a bonus. Because in my last drive, it shut down on us twice and it refused to start up. If it shuts down on me now, I'm going to leave the car where it is and walk home. Honestly. 
because this isn't on. Um, so far, it's on about, God knows, 800 RPM, if I'm reading it right. Uh, vitals are good, and it seems to be just right. Um, there's a whole heap of noise coming from the boots, seats. The fans on, AC's on, all seems cushy. I guess what I'm waiting for it to do is to cut out. If it cuts out, then it was never my direct ignition module. If it hasn't, if it doesn't cut out, then 